everyone. So I'm going to do the controversial parenting tag. And before I get started, I just want to add and say that obviously every parent is different and every child is different. So every parenting style is going to have to be a little bit different to fit the needs of that parent and that child. So um, I just want to say by no means am I saying that my style is the right style. I don't think there is one right style. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The first one is pro-life or pro-choice. And I know this is a very touchy subject for most people, but I'm 100% pro-life. And I say that, and I know there are some situations that aren't um, ideal, I guess you would say, but um, there's adoption for that, in my opinion. Um... The second one is baby wearing. I'm completely for baby wearing. I didn't ever wear my first son, which I don't know why. I don't really know if I knew of baby wearing, but we do with Colin. We do baby wear with Colin. I mean, we don't do it a lot. We do it like when we're going on a walk or going somewhere, going shopping. But we do baby wear, and I'm for baby wearing. Next is circumcision, and um, I think this is just you either want to or you don't. I'm not going to say what I prefer to do because I have two boys, and um, I don't really feel like discussing, or I don't feel like it's necessary to discuss that about them, but I'm, if you want to, and if you don't, you do whatever you feel is best. So, um, next is adoption. Like I said, I am 100% for adoption. I could never give up my own children, but um, if you do, then you're a really strong person. Um, I would much rather somebody put their child up for adoption than have an abortion. Next is baby piercing. I don't have a little girl. I would never um, pierce a boy's ears, but I don't have a little girl, and if I were to have a little girl, I don't really know what I would do yet. Um, I guess we would decide if when it came down to that, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it, so if you're for it or against it, that's fine, but... I haven't really looked into it myself. I don't see anything wrong with it, but, but I don't know what I would do if I were to have a little girl. Breast milk versus formula. Of course, I think breast is best, um, but I'm 100% for breast milk and 100% for formula because some people cannot breastfeed. And um, obviously, I think the breast milk is better, but there is... I'm so glad there is formula for people who cannot breastfeed. Next is spanking. I agree with spanking. I do not agree with abusing, and there is a difference. I think that other measures should be taken first, like um, giving them warnings, time out, telling them no, you know, different things depending on their age. And I don't believe in spanking an infant. Um, of course, wait till they're older, but um, a pat on the bottom, stuff like that, I do agree with, but I know this is a touchy subject, and like I said in the beginning, every parent, every child is different, so there's a different technique for everyone. Next is co-sleeping. Um, either way is fine for me. If you want to co-sleep, that's good for you. If you don't want to co-sleep, then that's your choice. I think it's every parent's choice. And we did not co-sleep with Brennan or Colin at a young age. They have went straight into their baby beds. But now Brennan does sleep with us. And ever since he got a big boy bed, he started getting out of his bed and coming to sleep with us. We are trying to um, transfer him into his own bed. We go and lay in his bed with him until he falls asleep. And then he will get up in the middle of the night and come in our bed. 
still, which is fine, but we do not co-sleep with little babies. I'm just not really comfortable with that myself because when they did sleep with us like here and there every now and then, they did sleep with us here like one or two nights when they were baby and it's just the worst night of rest ever for me. I'm just so worried that something will happen when they're in the bed with me. So when they're little, we personally do not co-sleep. Um, but Brennan, like I said, does sleep with us now and he's three, almost four. The next is home, public, private, or charter school. And I always went to public school and my husband went to public school for a while, but then he did like this homeschool kind of thing. It was through a Christian school, but it, you just went and got your work and brought it home, did your work. And he didn't do well with that. He didn't finish. He ended up just getting his GED. So personally, I think my kids will go to public school. Um, I just think that for us, that's the best option. Um, vaccinations. We do vaccinate. The only vaccination that I do not like to get is the flu shot. Um, medicating children. My kids have never really needed to be medicated. Of course, they've had like Tylenol for a fever and stuff like that. I do think like if a child, if a doctor were to say my child needed to be on a medication every single day of their life, I would do a lot of research and, and make sure it was necessary and see if there's other things that could be done first. But I do think medications are good. I'm glad they're out there for children who, who really need them. But if, if a doctor were to say, your child needs to take this on a daily basis, I would make sure to do my research about it before I actually decided to put my child on medication. Um, next is cloth versus disposable diapers. I'm pro both. Um, I would actually love to cloth diaper, but in both situations with our children, we don't have the money to put up front to start a cloth diaper collection. It's easier for us to use a little money every now and then to buy diapers because we don't have the large chunk of money to put up front for the cloth diapers, but I'm pro both, um, depending on your situation. One could be better than the other. And that's how I feel about that. Um, and last is the cry out method. Um, we've never really had to use the cry out method. Like I said, we um, start them out in their beds to begin with. Now Brennan is in our bed and we're trying to transfer him into his bed. And we don't really use a cry out method for him. We just stay in there with him until he falls asleep. And the next step would to be, when he starts getting up at night, would to be um, take him back in his room instead of letting him stay in our room so he knows that that's where he's going to have to stay. But we're, we're just not doing that yet. But that's my views, and I have enjoyed watching everybody else's controversial parenting videos, and I hope you enjoy mine. And I hope that my opinions can be respected as well as I respect all of your opinions. So please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Um, I am, um, blah, 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 blah. next is co-sleeping and um, I'm kind of for it, well, I don't know, like, I'm for it, and but 